If I tell you I'm good, probably you will say I'm boasting. But if I tell you I'm no good, you know one line. <laughs> Yo, what's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Dr. PGNG. I'm praise God to get money back for another YouTube video. Banger, man. Yes, sir. Yes, man. Y'all know what time it is. The doctor's in the house. Check this out, man. Y'all know, man. Oh, Canelo Alvarez. Oh, Cinnamon, as I like to call him. One of my favorite fighters, man. You know, it has already been, been announced that he's fighting Edgar Berlanga. And a lot of people are disappointed, rightfully so. Uh, I don't think the fight's too bad. You know what I'm saying? I don't think it's a bad fight at all. Bullshit! Bullshit! You know, I didn't think Jaime McGee was, was a bad fight either. But, of course, Petro, people are naturally going to be disappointed with anybody that, that he fights that isn't David Benavidez. And rightfully so, you know what I'm saying? That's a fight that I want to see. You know, I want to see that fight. Canelo's one of my favorite fighters. And I want to, I love to see him fight, you know what I'm saying? David Benavidez, I like him a lot too. I want to see the fight happen. People are disappointed. Some people are blaming Benavidez. Some people are blaming Canelo, whatever. We don't get that fight. But, you know... We are getting Edgar Berlaga versus Canelo on September 14th in Las Vegas. I know some people are mad. But it's going to be a good fight because you know it's going to revitalize the Puerto Rico and Mexican rivalry. You know what I'm saying? But if you are unhappy with that fight, man, they just beefed up the card a little bit, man. Guess what? Danny Swift Garcia is making his return. Yes, he's coming back to fight Arizlani Lara. Now, I, I'm not going to lie. You know, I think Cinnamon gets some, he, you know, he gets a lot of slander. He gets a lot of um, criticism. I think that some of it's fair, some of it's unfair. But I will say this. Even though Cinnamon is one of my favorite fighters, I will say he fought Arizlani Lara. And I personally thought that Arizlani Lara won that fight. It was a close fight, but I thought Lara won that fight. What did he say? <laughs> Um, so I do think that uh, he should have that dub on his record. But like I said, it was a close fight. Could have went either way. You know, but I do think me personally, I thought Arizlani Lara won. What do you mean by that? And he's going to return on the undercard of Cinnamon's fight against Berlanga. And guess what? This fight right here, you know, like I said, in addition to being his ring return for Danny Garcia, this is his first time fighting at 160 pounds. So this is going to be the highest he's ever been. So it's good. this is uncharted waters, you know, he's making his middleweight debut. But also, too, those of you that pay attention to boxing, which I know not too many people do, but they like to pretend like they do. What do you mean by that? If you pay attention to boxing, you would know and you would remember that Arizlani Lara and Danny Swift Garcia were supposed to fight even uh, as much as a year ago. You know, they, these fights were in talks and I don't know what happened to it. Obviously, it didn't, it didn't pan out. But, you know, um, Arizlani Lara is just coming off of a knockout win over the Australian Michael Zarafa. So, Danny Garcia, they were in talks even before his last fight. You know what I'm saying? So, it's good that they... they, they, they uh, uh, renegotiated in the terms and came to an agreement to bring this fight. I think this fight is very interesting. Like I said, not only because Danny Swift Garcia is returning off of a long year layoff, right? No, sorry, a year? No, it's been two years. Dos años, you know what I'm talking about for my Hispanics out there. Two years since, he, since we last seen him by the time the fight comes around, right? So this, this is going to be interesting. Uh, he's fighting the champion Arizlani Lara, even though Arizlani Lara is uh, 41 years old. Damn! I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah, he's he, 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 he's forty one, but he, he looked good his last fight. And Danny Garcia is not a, not exactly a spring chicken himself, right? He's I believe he's thirty six years old. Um, so yeah, man, so this fight is gonna be good. It's gonna beef up the card. I'm excited for it. So I don't know who I had there right now off the top of my head. Just going off of what I see for Arizlani Lara, his last fight, I'm gonna lean towards Lara. But of course, if you're familiar with the names and reputation, then I think Danny Garcia might still be the favorite, even though he's coming off a two year layoff and he's. He's also going to going to fight, going to make his middleweight debut, right? Fight at the highest weight that he's ever been. So we'll see how it goes, man. I do think this is a make and break fight for probably both of them. You know what I'm saying? But at least with Arizona Lara, he's a champion. So you know, well, let's see how it goes. But he might have some options afterwards. But if Danny Garcia comes back after a long two year hiatus and then loses, I pretty pretty much expect him to hang him up, man. But y'all, let me know what y'all think about that fight. September 14th in Las Vegas on the undercard of Canelo versus Berlanga, man. I can't wait to hear the other undercards that are that are that are going to be during this fight. Because you know Canelo, um, his undercards are really the best all the time. But this is going to be good, so I appreciate this one, man. Y'all, let me know what y'all think about that in the comments. Who y'all have winning, Laura or or, or Danny Swift Garcia, man? Y'all, let me know. The doctor's out. Remember, oh, before I slide, remember, with God we can do anything. Without God we're nothing. Y'all be easy. Peace. The doctor's out. From the hood to college, both worlds they had to meet. Six degrees between us, so cold we're about to freeze. But we're Florida boys, hot takes, we bring the heat. We're moving the culture, the engineers to the streets.